In today's video, we're going to go step by step on how to mine Conflux with our GPU mining rigs. What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well, as the title says, this is a beginner's guide to how to mine Conflux. So if you have a few GPU mining rigs sitting around and you want to get them up and running on Conflux, this video is perfect for you. So step one of our process is going to be setting up our Conflux wallet. Then step two is loading up HiveOS and building out our wallet as well as our flight sheet. And finally, step three is checking out how well our GPU mining rig is doing on Hero Miners. All right, I wanna give you guys a quick tour of the rig that we'll be using today. This is a Miner Dude, love this case. It's kind of the cousin of the Octo Miner, just in black with some few odd end ends that are different. But let's take a look at the GPUs that we'll be using for today's video. So you can see some pretty bulky ones in here. Uh, and also some really small ones in here. Well, these are all 3060 and 3060 Ti's. So starting at the top, you can see here that we have a Gigabyte, and this is the RTX 3060. We then go down here to the Gigabyte Aorus, which is actually the 3060 Ti. We then have this bad boy, which is the ROG Strix 3060. It's huge just for a 3060. Then jumping on, we have the EVGA, and this is one of those uh, good ones here for the Win 3 3060 Ti's. We then jump to this real little one, which is crazy to think that this is a 3060, and then this massive bad boy is a 3060 as well. Jumping on from there, moving down the list, we have another ROG Strix 3060 Ti. We then have another 3060 Ti, which is the Gigabyte. And finally, at the very bottom, we have a ROG Strix 3060 Ti. So a variety of different cards in here, mostly 3060 Ti's, but a few 3060's sprinkled in there. But this is the rig that we'll be using today to set up on Conflux. All right, so let's jump in. So the first thing we have to do is set up our Conflux wallet. We need a place for all this Conflux that we mine with our GPU mining rig to go once the payouts occur. So we're gonna go over to confluxnetwork.org. That is the official Conflux website for the cryptocurrency. And on the right hand side, you have create wallet. So go ahead and click there. This is gonna bring us over to the Fluent wallet, which is what their team recommends. And this is actually a browser wallet. Uh, if you have a recommended Conflux wallet that you guys recommend or your experienced Conflux miners, Please leave a comment down below. I'd love to know what wallet you guys have been using on Conflux as I'm brand new to mining Conflux. So there's an option here to add to Chrome. If you're not using Chrome, they also support Firefox and Edge. So use the browser that you prefer. All right, so to get started, let's hit add to Chrome because that's what I'm using. We're gonna go ahead and click that button there. It's gonna bring us over to the Google Chrome store and we're going to click add to Chrome. It's then gonna ask us, can it add that extension to our browser? And we're gonna click add extension. That's gonna go ahead and finish up. And within the top right-hand corner, there it is. It pops up and tells us that it is up and available. So go ahead and click on that icon in the upper right-hand corner. When you hover over it, it's called Fluent. If you can't seem to find the icon after you've gone ahead and clicked it, go to the upper right-hand corner. There's a little puzzle piece for extensions, click there and then go down and left click on the word Fluent. This will go ahead and pop up our wallet and let's walk through it step by step. So first step, welcome to the Conflux network, hit create. It then wants a password. So go ahead and enter in a secure password and make sure that you make a note as to what that password is in wherever you store any of your cryptocurrency wallet information. Then click create. After we hit create, you have two options. You can import a seed phrase. If this is a new computer that you set up, but you already have a wallet, you can also add in the private keys or in our situation, we're setting up for the very first time, we're going to hit new seed phrase. Right here, it's going to go ahead and say seed phrase group name. So we can just go ahead and name it something if we want to. I'm just gonna put in something simple for this video. This is not really something I'm gonna stick with. I'm gonna rebuild this when we're done, but we'll just put Hobbyist Conflux as our group name and we'll hit next. Now it's going to go ahead and give us a variety of different seed phrases. Make sure that you make a note and mark these down for security purposes, just in case I will go ahead and blur these out, but make sure you write these down. The spelling is important as well as the order of this seed phrase. 
but make sure you have this noted down in a secure location with that wallet password, then click next. All right, so once you've moved on, it actually is going to kind of test you and it wants you to go ahead and put in that seed phrase in the exact order that it was presented. So go through clicking on each of these and putting them in the order one through 12, then hit create. All right, so our Conflux wallet has been created, but now we need to go ahead and actually get that wallet address so that we have that available to send to when we're setting up Hive OS and with our pool, which as I talked about today, we'll be using Hero Miners. So at the very top here, right next to the name, you remember we called it Hobbyist Conflux? It has our address, but it's kind of got like, it's kind of hidden a little bit. There is a copy button. So go ahead and copy that. And that's going to go ahead and copy your Conflux wallet address to your clipboard. Note that down somewhere. We will need that in our next step when we jump over to Hive OS. All right, so our second step is to set everything up on Hive OS. This is where we're going to go ahead and get into our rig, setting up our GPU mining rig, as well as adding in our wallet and configuring the pool. So we're going to click on our mining shed. And in here, we're going to go down to our Miner Dude X8, which is the case that we just showed you guys with our 3060 and 3060 TIs. So the first thing I recommend is get up and running on Conflux with no overclock settings. That's just make sure that everything's working correctly. And then we'll go ahead and add in our overclock settings second. So what we're going to do first is we need to add our Conflux wallet to HiveOS because as of right now, I've never mined Conflux. So to do that, click HiveOS in the top left hand corner, then click on your farm. And then at the very top, there's an option for wallets. Click on wallets. And then in the upper right hand corner, you'll click add wallet. And you're going to select a coin. So if you come in here and start to type CFX, there it is, there's Conflux. Now it wants our wallet address. And remember that we copied that wallet address to our clipboard, or we made a note of it. So we can go ahead and paste it. And there it is. And then I'm going to come in here real quick. And I'm just going to do obvious Conflux wallet. Feel free to name this whatever you'd like. And we're going to hit create. Pretty easy, huh? Now we're going to go over to workers on the left hand side. We're going to go back to our rig, minor dude x8. All right, so let's jump in to the flight sheet. So we're going to select flight sheet. And we need to create a brand new flight sheet because we don't have one currently right now. So in the upper right hand corner, we're going to click flight sheets and that gives us an option to populate a brand new flight sheet. So for our coin, we're going to come up here and we can type CFX, there's Conflux. And when we click wallet, look, there's that wallet that we just made. Next for our pool. So as we talked about, we are going to be using hero miners. So we're going to click here and we can go ahead and select hero miners. And it's, look at all these pools. Hero miners has so many Conflux pools. So select the ones that work best for you based off your geolocation. I'm going to select US East in there and then also US West. And you can select SSL if you want. If you do that, it will wipe things. So just go ahead and select them again. And then actually scroll to the bottom and hit apply. So if you guys haven't used Hero Miners before, um, I'll go ahead and jump over to their site real quick. We'll be looking at their dashboard at the very end because that's going to show exactly where we're mining our Conflux. And that's where you can look at all your um, stats and how things are working out. The pool is like the Bible when it comes down to your mining rig. That's really what you need to look at when you're looking at hash rate and rejected shares and profitability, because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what it shows in Hive OS. If it's not accurate on the pool, you're not going to be getting paid out the way that you expect. So always check your pool for profitability and how well your rig is doing. So we're over on Hero Miners. You can see they have a boatload of different um, algorithms available and coins available to mine. For today, we're going to be working on Conflux here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Conflux. And we're going to be using this information here in just a minute. HiveOS has a lot of it pre-populated, but we'll be coming down here to the bottom where it says enter your address. And this is where we're going to take a look and see how our rig is doing on our third step. But let's jump back and take a look at our flight sheet. So over on our flight sheet, we have our pool set. Now we're going to talk about what we're going to use for our miner. So for this experiment today, we're going to use T-Rex Miner. So we're going to click here and T-Rex Miner is already available for this. So when it comes to the name, I always like to name my light sheets with um, the rig. So Miner Dude. And then I like to put what it's mining. And then I also like to put what miner I'm using, which is T-Rex Miner. And then we're going to hit Create Flight Sheet. 
So now we've created the flight sheet, but we have to apply it to our rig. So we're going to go to workers on the left hand side. We're going to go down to minor dude and we're going to click flight sheet. And now you can see, look, there it is right there. There's our conflux minor dude one for T-Rex minor. And we're going to go ahead and send it to the moon or apply this flight sheet. So we're going to give this about five minutes and we're going to check back in and make sure that our rig has started mining. All right, so our rig has only been up and running for what, a minute or so right now. Let's go ahead and refresh here. And yep, look at that. We've been up for one minute and one second. Uh, we are, I have no overclock settings put in right now, but we know that everything is working as expected and intended. Now, the watts are through the roof, as you guys can see. And some of these are pretty brutal with the 3060 Ti's up over 230 watts, if not more, which doesn't make sense. So let me spend some time and get some overclock settings in place. And then we'll check to see how our rig is doing on the pool, which we're using today's hero miners. All right, so we got some overclock settings in place, keeping efficiency in mind, especially right now during the bear market when electric rates are through the roof. So for our 3060s, we went for that efficiency, as I talked about, 1300 for our core, 2400 for our memory, puts us around that 110, 112 mark. It's really gonna be dependent on the GPU as well as the memory. Uh, so keep that in mind with the manufacturers there, but pretty good, we're around 41, 41 high uh, for our hash rate there. And then looking at our 3060 Ti's, we use zero for our core, 2600 for our memory, and a power limit hard set at 150. As you guys can see, we're about 54, 55 when it comes down to our hash rate, and our watts are locked in right there around 150 watts. Now, if we take a look at this rig in its entirety, it is a minor dude, just like the Octo Miner. So it does tell us our total consumption does have that built in. It is accurate. We're at 1.227 or 1200 watts, give or take here total for this rig. So let's give this about 15 minutes and then let's jump over to Hero Miners and see how it's doing. All right, miners, so I'm not gonna lie. It has been well over an hour and I've been struggling with two GPUs. You know, it's never as easy as what you expect, right? It's like, oh, everything's coming together. It's working awesome. Nope, I want to be 100% realistic. So GPU one and GPU seven have been a nightmare for me for the last hour. They just didn't like any overclock settings that I put in place at all. GPU one still is running wild. It's like, not following some of the power limit settings and stuff. It's really wild to me. Um, GPU seven has kind of corrected itself and is doing well. You know, we do have a little bit wonky of some overclock settings in there. 100 for the core, 1800 for the memory, 160 for the power limit. I tried what I'm using for all my other 3060 Ti's that have been stable and they just don't like it. GPU one, man, I don't know what is going on. That, that card is drunk right now, <laughs> but Let's take a look and see how we're doing. So let me go ahead and refresh here. So as of right now, we're about 388 mega hash. Uh, we were a little bit closer to right about 400 when GPU one was working with us. I'm really gonna have to figure out what's going on with that one. But if we go over to hero miners here, um, now if you guys are trying to figure out exactly what we did and how we got here, when you come over to hero miners website, it shows all of the different uh, coins that you can use. So we're gonna select uh, Conflux on the left. And then if you scroll down, you're just gonna input your address, including the CFX in there and click lookup. And then what's gonna happen is it's gonna give you all the stats. Now, some things take a little bit longer. I probably should have waited like an hour total, but I was eager to wrap this up because it's getting late. It's almost midnight here currently. But you can see current hash rate says about 357. So it's off by a tiny bit there. Uh, and we should give it a little bit longer, but right now we're even, if you go off of our estimates off of that, there it is right there, based off of 376. You see how it says 376 there? So if I go over and refresh here, we're about 384. So, so 376 is a little bit of that low mark there, uh, but it says we're about $3.67. So we're maybe about $3.75 once we get up another 10 mega hash. But that puts us about 10, probably 11 conflux per day currently right now, which is awesome. So I'm going to spend my time. I got about 30 minutes before I go to bed and try to tweak this out a little bit more, get this working a little bit better uh, because, man, it drives me nuts when you have one GPU that just is not cooperating. But guys, that's it. We are set up. And today, man, we did it. We 
went ahead and got our Conflux wallet set up. We, within Hive OS, added the wallet as well as our flight sheet. And we got everything up and running on Hero Miners for our pool for Conflux. Hell yeah. All right, miners, so that is going to do it for today for setting up our GPU mining rigs to mine Conflux. It was a lot of fun using my 3060 and 3060 Ti's for this video. I think I'm actually going to keep them on Conflux, especially right now with how profitable and how much Conflux is pumping. If you guys need links to anything that we went over today, where we set up our Conflux wallet, um, how to access Hive OS and how to get started completely free with Hive OS, as well as the pool that we're using in today's video, which is Hero Miners. I'll put links down to all of those directly down below in the video description. If you guys enjoyed today's video tutorial, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.